Greetings fellow humans, it's Melinda the Good here, and welcome to Unepic. This is a indie dungeon crawling game, and I've heard a lot of good things about this actually. It's been around for a while, I think it came out in 2011, but it's really funny, has a ton of pop culture references, and basically a nerdy geeky role playing game. So let's begin. Okay, when you enter the dungeon, two skeletons with rusty axes block your way. The eerie red light that glimmers in their eye sockets watches you fixedly. What do you do? I load my elven bow and shoot. Whoa, 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 hang on. Are you really shooting an arrow at a monster that can't bleed? What do you think will happen? That the arrow gets stuck between its ribs and slows it down? Hey, it works in video games. Haha, <laughs> moron. The best RPGs let you use common sense. Come on, step aside and let a cleric work. I take my holy symbol and I turn the undead. Get back to the pit from whence you came, evil creatures! Roll a d20. A blinding light appears inside their skulls. Both skeletons scream, and their inert bones fall to the ground. Take that! Two skeletons in one shot! God, I'm good. Okay, I approach quickly to see if they carry any loot. As you approach them, you step on a loose tile. You hear a click, and a spear springs up just under your feet. Fog, I sprung a trap. I got a saving throw, right? Eric, pass me the chips. Hey guys, let's take a break. I have to pee. Again? Huh, <laughs> fucking beer! Into the hall, left door, light switch is outside. Hang on, I'll be back in a minute. Bastards, you switched off the light! I'm peeing in here! Okay, you asked for it, but I can't aim in the dark. Fuck, I can't see anything. What the hell? Where's the toilet? I don't get it, I was just peeing in it. Oops. I think I just pissed on the floor. Let's see if I can find the door. Nope, this is a wall. Wow, this wall is rough. I'd swear that it had wallpaper on it before. Nothing. I can't find the door, and this is definitely not a bathroom. I got a bad feeling about this. I'd better light my lighter. At least I'll see something. Find the lighter in your inventory. Once you find it, select the Equip option. To open and close the inventory, press Inventory. All right, so we're in the game already. The story just started up so quickly. Um, I guess we need to equip our lighter. Oh, there we are. So typical D&D &D game gone awry. Um, I don't actually know quite how to play. I turned on the tutorial because it's my first time. What's this? Stone walls, columns. Darkness. Where the hell am I? Of course, those bastards must have put some sort of psychotropic shit in my beer. I'm having a hallucination. Cool. It almost looks real. So great start. We are tripping balls. Um, so I was saying I turned on the tutorial. They also had a very interesting option about language. You can choose whether it is like a family safe language or 16 plus. Naturally, I chose a 16 plus. Uh, what's this? There's something ahead. It looks like... Holy shit! A skeleton! I'm imagining things. Maybe it's Ricky's grandma taking a nap. I could see her as a skeleton. Or maybe it's Chester Copperpot. Does he have a key? Can't hurt to check. Oh, damn. Ouch, trap, it hit my leg, it hurts like hell. I have to say the voice acting so far is really good in this game. And of course I run into the trap twice. Okay, let's let's not die during the tutorial. Oh, I get it. The hallway, the skeleton, the trap. I'm imagining myself in an RPG. Then I must be in a dungeon or castle that my subconscious has created. Okay, while the drug's working, I get to be the player in my own RPG. Cool! I'll compete against myself, even if I've never been a dungeon master. Yeah, whatever shit they put in my beer is really amazing. I better draw a map so I don't get lost. Press map to see the map. You can place notes on the map by clicking on an area. The only thing is no that's annoying is the tutorial voice person. 
Okay, so where am I? Everything's really dark. I hope I get to upgrade my torch soon. I guess there's nothing here. Ladder. Oh, there's a lot of skeletons. What is that? Looks like we have a guest, and he is unarmed. Uh, no, 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 I was just leaving. Of course not. Let me offer you my hospitality. Um, hey, I don't want to be a bother, okay? Fear not. It will be no trouble to possess your soul and make you an eternal inhabitant of this castle. Ooh. What? No! <laughs> Shit, that was scary. That shadow thing pounced at me. Wait a minute. Where did it go? This is not possible. There is no faith in this soul. I cannot control this body. I hear that voice inside of me. Holy shit! I've been possessed! Damn it! I can't escape! I am trapped within this body, in this prison of flesh! I'm possessed! I'm possessed! Why the hell do you go around possessing people, huh? When I possess a soul, I can gain control of its body and I can do whatever pleases me. Yeah, but it didn't work with me, did it, you some bitch? Ha! <laughs> Fuck you! Stupid <laughs> creature, I just have to wait patiently for your death. Then I will be free again. In this place, it won't take too long. Yeah, whatever. In a couple of hours, the drug will wear off anyway, so you don't scare me. So far, I'm really enjoying the story. The controls are a little bit wonky, but... Look at these corpses. In days of yore, they were creatures who dared to enter the castle. Now their bones are a testament to their bravery. Yours will join them soon. It feels like I don't need my mouse for this. A sword! Finally! It must have belonged to this corpse. Hey, Dark Smoke Guy, you're lucky, you know. If I had this sword before, I could have split you in two pieces. Ha 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 ha! Do not make me laugh, mortal. If thou weren't so stupid, thou would know that I have no body and no weapon can harm me. But in video games, I killed hundreds of ghosts with a sword. A world where shadows and spirits can be hurt by ordinary weapons? Not only are you stupid, but also a liar. Uh, shut up. I'm taking my sword anyway. To collect the sword, get close to it and press action. Then, to equip it, find it in the inventory and select equip. Alright, we got our first sword. Okay, so we should equip this. Ooh, slicey slicey. I don't actually know how to attack. Where's the tutorial guy when you need him? Look at all this loot! I'm rich! Gold is what, nearly two grand an ounce? With just one of these coins, I could buy the new console. Jeez, I'm an idiot. This is all a hallucination, damn it. It's like when you dream that you win the lottery and wake up with nothing. Take some coins. You could buy powerful artifacts and deadly weapons. Yeah! Wait a minute. You're waiting for my death to be free, aren't you? Why would you give me advice? Stop asking foolish questions. Look carefully at how these coins shine. Yes. Shiny coins. If you wish to collect part of the treasure, stand over it and press action. So the tutorial is off to a really great start, and now I'm really tempted to get some of the gold, but, you know, the guy has a point. The spirit thingy wants me to die, and he's also telling me to take the gold, so I might pass on it. But I do have a gold counter at the top, and I feel like it might be useful for buying. Go back. Thou left your coins. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Thanks anyway. 
Press Menu to open the menu and access to all its options. All right, cool. But I mean, I think gold might be useful in the future for buying weapons and upgrades and stuff. So I'm tempted to take maybe a couple. Just, I just, I'm curious what would happen. Well, nothing bad. So far, so good. Maybe take a couple more. There's a few more here. Nothing else over here. I mean, I think I won't be greedy. I think we'll go. How easy it was to trick you. Why art thou such a fool? What? What are you saying? Thy greed has become thy doom. It has brought me freedom as well. What the hell's wrong with me? I feel weak. I'm losing my strength. I got greedy. What am I poisoned? Shit, I'm feeling bad. I can hardly stand. Oops. <laughs> I should have seen that coming. I really should have. And I did get greedy there. I was all, ooh, gold, ooh, upgrades, ooh, shiny. That was completely my fault. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Look at all the okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I feel, I'm so embarrassed, honestly. Okay. I also went down the ladder and he was all fool me once, shame on, oh my goodness. This this is the dialogue right once, here. Shame on you. I should realize. Only twice. Shame on me. Thanks anyway. Press menu to. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, we're off to a good start. We died during the tutorial. <laughs> I did hear that this game can be quite unforgiving. A it's enormous. Shit, that motherfucker's as tall as me. Press attack to attack. Edged weapons like swords are especially effective against living creatures. Oh, nice. Honestly, I love the dialogue here. Ow. Uh, wait, how do I attack? Okay, so it took me a while to figure out, but it's really weird. The keyboard bindings, although I want to change, I don't think I should. It's really unintuitive. Like, usually, attack, you would have... I don't know, I'm... It's just, it's weird. Attack is spacebar. Snake! 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 Like, most games don't have it a that chest. way. And where there's a chest, there's loot. Press action when in front of the chest to open it. Yeah, and the action button's different than the... Attack button. I can't see what that is. Oh, it's a miss. Hmm. There are some barrels here. Looks like they've been here for a long time. They're rotten. That means they're meant to be broken. Maces and axes are super effective against solid objects or armored monsters. Swords, daggers, and spears are less effective. Using the mace against barrels is the best option. All right, so we got more loot. Okay, let me just quickly equip my axe and smashy smashy. Oh, money, arrows, money that doesn't poison me. More money, yay! There's a ladder here, and there's some paths over here. Oh, a chest. Money, money, money. I don't actually even know what the money is for, and it's already caused me to die once. Can I break this one? No. Another snake. Let's make some snake steaks. To swap between weapons without having to open the inventory, you can assign a quick key in your inventory by clicking the item, selecting Assign Shortcut, then pressing the key you wish to bind. Oh, so that's what the numbers and stuff at the bottom was for. So, let's... And let's put this... Alright. 
Alright, so we should switch to the sword. And smashy smashy the snake. Switch to the mace to smashy smashy the barrel. Awesome. Whoops. I can't see this at all. Oh, a short bow. Let's also equip that. Okay, bow will be three. Alright. We got some loot. A torch. Let's light it because it's really dark in here. I completely agree. It's weird that some of the lines have voice acting, but others don't. Ah, we have a happy torch now. Hey, an oil lamp or something like that. Better light it too. If Belmont doesn't show up and start putting them out with his whip. Press action when in front of a lamp to light it. Yeah, that was weird. It... Suddenly the voice acting came back. Hey, Dark Smokey Dude, what's your name? I have no name. How's that work? The Lord of this castle has no name? You are mistaken. I am not the Lord of this castle. I am a shadow, and my task is to protect this place. You're just a minion! One of those one hit point wonders. If I had a pinch of the immense power of my lord, I could destroy you just like that. Well, Shadow Guy, this castle and your master are figments of my imagination. Let's say that I am the great creator of everything. And in a while, everything will disappear and then no one will have to be destroyed just like that. You, a pathetic creature of meat and bone. The creator of everything. <laughs> Are you a liar or a fool? Whatever, but I'm gonna give you a name. Names mean nothing to me. Let's see. What about Zero? It's what I lovingly call one of my favorite characters. Do not dare call me that. As you wish, Zero. By the way, I haven't introduced myself. I care not. I'm known as Strider, but my real name is Aragorn, son of Arathorn. And I'm the rightful heir to the kingdom of Gondor. Damn. I'm trapped in the body of a fool. Are you calling me foolish? Who's more foolish, the fool or the fool who follows him? <laughs> I am really enjoying the dialogue right now. It just shows this game is really lighthearted and fun. Another chest. Healing. Oh, there's barrels up here. Can I get up? Yep. More arrows. Come on. There we go. Lots of arrows. Okay. It is recommended to assign a shortcut to healing potions. To search for a potion in the middle of battle is suicide, because the game is not paused when you're in the game menu. When you use a potion, you keep the empty vials. They could be useful later. This is the game telling me that I am being stupid and I will die very, very soon. Um, how do I assign this? Um, we should have this somewhere easy to reach. I'm gonna go say shift one. Alright, cuz I feel like that is gonna be pretty important and because they just gave me a healing potion I bet there's like a boss battle coming up or something. But I think I'll say that for the next video. So please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll see you all next time.